This is the biggest issue in the whole <laughs> game I have. And Daniel Jones' play is part of it. But the biggest issue is ball security. You cannot win at any level of football, let alone the NFL, if you're giving the ball back to the team. This can't be done. No. It is proven scientifically. We've done experiments on Madden. <laughs> <laughs> Ran a lot of studies. Exactly. So the Giants had four fumbles. Three of them were, were lost, along with Daniel Jones's two interceptions, guys. You can't win with five turnovers, especially when you don't get any turnovers yourself back. That really just messes things up. You know? Yeah. So, you know, if you want to go ahead and win, you got to hold on to the ball. And what's really scary is it wasn't like these are turnovers that you go, okay, well, these were these were all the same kind of turnover. We just got to fix this one thing and we're done. Like these were turnovers all over the place. You know, you got the two interceptions we went over earlier with Daniel Jones. He got a pick six because he, uh, you know, went ahead and went to the wrong spot when he tried to throw the ball away and then throw it at, at Theo Johnson's feet. And he got underthrown ball at that point. I mean, Again, not going to chastise the guy, but two interceptions kind of sucks. Then you got a, a strip ball from DeVito when he was pressured. You got a bad snap um, by uh, Schlotman there. And you got a fumble by brand new running back Lorenzo Lingard. And then you got another fumble by John Giles, the undrafted rookie free agent. Again, another undrafted rookie free agent, but a wide receiver here who caught the ball and then promptly fumbled it. Like, yeah. guys, you can't win this. Well, you can't. And I don't know what Dable can do this week that's different. I mean, do you kind of just chalk it up to, like, this has just been a bad week, guys. We're going to go ahead and ignore this ever happened. Or do you do some kind of new drill? Because, like I said, they're all different. You got two interceptions, a botch snap, a fumble on a run, and a fumble on a catch. I think it was like, the little giants where they threw water balloons at each other, right? They yes, had that's, that's, <laughs> that, that's the answer. Yes. Along I with mean, having the offensive line use Alcat Seltzer. Yes. Use yes. these for acid indigestion. <laughs> I was literally so skinny in high school. I wish not definitely not anymore, but uh, in high school they used to call me Rad Tab when I played football. <laughs> <laughs> um, a little taller. Yeah, just a little taller, that's all. But definitely not any stock here. So I was like, like 5'10", 104 <laughs> yards. It was crazy. Yeah. As as Robbie, who's been in the, in the chat here, popping in saying hi, and all says, do you like they did in the program, make the they carry the ball around? I was thinking that too. But it's, it's like I said, it's all different scenarios. These are professionals. Like, I almost want to sit there and say, same as I said with DJ a minute ago, like, this is not typical. Do I want to overreact or do I want to move on? I think it's got to be a little bit of both. Like, you got to... You got to be able to forgive this this game because, like, this is like if you want to play devil's advocate, like the past few years, how many tur turnovers have we had? Not a lot. And this is close to what we had in the past few years in turnovers. Yeah, in one game in a preseason game. But look who did it though. Like, so again, we talked about Daniel Jones <laughs> has not had a ton of interceptions lately. I think he's had got what like eleven in the last two years. I'm great. He didn't play a lot last year, but. You know, he got, I don't even think it's that many, right? Because he had I two. Think right? about, I think he had six last year. Remember, he had a he had a couple of them were just tip balls because Barkley was yeah. a hot potato. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. But he had like what two? That was the crazy stat he had. It was like two two years ago. I thought it was so five. It was that many. I I do think it was five. I don't think it was two. It might have been two for a while and it gone up at some point. They let him throw more. Yeah, later right. yeah. So it was five last in twenty two and six last year. So yeah, eleven and two yeah, years. Yeah. So. But you're still talking about a, a guy who, like I said, hasn't thrown a lot of picks lately. So that is, for the record, for those who are keeping track at home there, that is 24 games and 11 picks. His interception percentage was 1.1%. You know? Um, that's, that's, that was a league low. He was 1.9 the year before. He was 3.8 last year, so he did throw up a lot of picks. But again, we talked about it. He had six picks. I can tell you one-third of the picks, I remember very specifically, were Saquon Barkley playing hot potato, and, and he couldn't catch the yeah. ball, and he batted it up in the air, and a defender got it. So I'm not going to blame 
Daniel Jones for that. That's going to happen. So yeah, Rob says, just wanted, just wanted to to say I enjoy your channel a lot. You you get good analysis here, and you guys are also entertaining. Much appreciated, man. Seriously, much appreciated. Thank you very much. We question your taste, but we appreciate it anyway. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But guys, like I said, I just I look at him. Okay, and I'm not gonna. I'm again. I don't like it. It was a horrible game, horrible decision with the pick six, especially. But I'm not going to go flip out over you know half a game in preseason. You got Devito fumble the ball. He's everyone who's getting pressured. Now, if you look at Tommy Devito, again, you got a young player. They do make those kind of mistakes sometimes. But I look at Tommy Devito and I go, yeah, this is this is a guy who had some issues with that last year, you know. Um, so let's see. His interception percentage is nice. Love. Where's his fumble? Let's make it his fumble right. I don't have – wasn't even planning on talking about that per se, but let's see here. Actually, two fumbles last year. That's it. That's not so bad in half. These. It's a little, It's still more than the average, but it's not that horrible. It wasn't like Daniel Jones is a rookie. Like that guy was like, my God. He was like Mr. Bucket. The ball popped out of his mouth. It's like horrible. It's like, oh, hey, boink. You remember that? You remember that game? Everybody remembers Mr. Bucket. By the way, you ever <laughs> rewatched that as an adult? Like that song's like, oh, Mr. Bucket. Balls pop out of my mouth. I'm like, what? Wait, what? Hold on. What happened? Hey, squeeze Are me. They were giving this to children. Balls pop out. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, but yeah, I mean, that's how that's how Daniel Jones was as a rookie. Like they were popping out left and right. So, yeah, like I said, I, I was misremembering. I was thinking he had more fumbles. We had just two fumbles last year in six starts, nine games. So basically, you figure it probably the equivalent of like seven eight starts he had two so that puts him like five for the year which is a lot don't get me wrong but it's not unheard of high so i'm sure they're working with him on that and then you got uh you know schlotman who was a really good dependable backup center for the vikings didn't have the issue then you got lorenzo lingard who probably won't make the roster john giles who probably won't make the roster probably so yeah you know, you got to work on the fumbling with DeVito a little bit. Make sure he's getting that number down. Schlotman, I, I tested too with just a mistake there. One mistake and not a big deal. And you just got to keep DJ calm. You know, he did a lot of a lot of deep throws in this game, I thought. I think that's part of the problem is I think he's trying to like prove everybody wrong. Yeah, I mean. I would say you're not going to prove people wrong in the preseason. Look at people are overreacting to a bad game. Maybe you would. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Like, yeah, the, the short pass to Hyatt, like, if that was his first interception and that was the only interception, these, like, the, the, the turnovers from DJ, like, wouldn't be talked about as much. No. It's so that it when you start off with a, yeah, when you had a little bit of that heinous, like, oh, then we get rid of this ball and throw it right into the other guy's hands. Yeah, that's a bad start to the game. So when you go to Hyatt, who, Talks about separation issues since we got him. Yep. And it's underthrown. People are gonna be like, was it high or was it DJ? You could argue that. And I'm not I'm not saying it's DJ's fault. Because it, it I'm not saying it's not his fault, because it, it was. I'm but, still thinking, and correct me if people can correct me if I'm wrong if they think I'm crazy in this. I'll I'll, I'll take the, the criticism, so to speak, but I don't think I am. I would rather see you slightly overthrow Hyatt. And hope he can kick it into that second gear for a second. Yeah, a little overdrive. Little faster knocks. than everybody little... else on the field. Why are we underthrowing the guy who should be able to outrun anybody? Maybe you just misunderstood how fast the guy could run. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that's that's that to me is a pretty obvious way of trying to avoid that scenario. And maybe that's what he's gonna have to do. You know, there's still I guess there's still a bit of learning curve for Jones with Hyatt because they didn't play together a whole lot last year. Hyatt didn't see much of the field until later on in the season. And Daniel Jones obviously didn't see the field at all in the second half of the season. So, yeah, pretty um, much. We'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe that's part of it. So, all right. Let's... If you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes too. Find us on your favorite podcast app and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm, I'm begging you. Please, please subscribe.